In Scratch, there are three main elements you'll use to make your creations. Sprites, backdrops, and scripts. Sprites are two-dimensional images you see on the screen. Backdrops are images in the background. Scripts are commands that tell Scratch what to do. Think of all of these kind of like a stage play. Sprites are the characters that move around and do stuff. Backdrops make the scenery on set. And scripts tell the characters what to say and do. Here we have a brand new Scratch project. This big box in the middle is your workspace, where you'll be adding all your code blocks. Speaking of code blocks, over here on the left is your code. Your costumes and sounds panels are also here, but we'll touch on those in a bit. On the right is your preview window. This shows what your creation will actually look like when you're playing or watching it. This green flag at the top is basically a play button. It tells Scratch to run your program, and the red stop sign tells it to, well, stop. Now, back to your code window. You'll notice these different colored circles with names like motion, sound, and events. Click them, and you'll see each one contains a different set of code blocks. You see, Scratch organizes code blocks by color and function, which makes it way easier for coding beginners, like me, to find what they're looking for. Okay, coding time. 